I'm a game deck. I solve crimes in virtual worlds. Like a murder over a game clan dispute. Or child slavery in a free-to-play game. A lot has changed in this world, but not the human nature. Greed leads to crime. Crime leads to conspiracy. And conspiracies are what the corporations thrive on. They think they can control me, calculate my choices. They can't. The choice is mine. I just want the money. You got the chip? All right, start her up, bug. Why don't you go to the bathroom, wash up, we gonna be with you in a minute. What? Oh, come on, man. Your neck, it's a mess. While security has yet to comment, we do know the suspect seems to have fled the scene. Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination confirmed. Woo That's what I'm talking about! Alright! In and out, bitches! We're rich! Oh, we are going to the major leagues, Jackie! Right. <laughs> Jack? Oh. oh, shit! No, 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 no. Okay, oh. get to a clinic. Now. Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Go! Immediate medical help okay. is required. Just, just hold on. Just... Hey, hey. Just think about all the good shit we're gonna have, huh? I'm sorry. Chef Every corporal cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this cocksucking attention, damn it. the fuck up, samurai. We have a city to burn. Let's do this.
Qui va qui va protéger BBS, Data Fortress. Bridge to the Deep Net. Beyond there are no borders. Beyond the Black Wall. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is massive, and traversing its open star system is completely seamless whether you're on foot, in vehicles, or in space. You play as a customizable space pirate captain who carries a sword, a gun, and a jetpack as basic equipment. Your character and weapons can also be enhanced with augments, which grant special abilities and let you experiment with different effects in combat. Trapping foes in a time-slowing bubble, for example, or freezing them in place with chained electricity. Enemies can also use augments, like these scientists who can heal their soldier buddies with augmented bullets, so you'll want to get a close look at who's carrying what and plan your strategy accordingly. In order to see what your enemies have equipped, you'll need your spyglass, which displays the stats, skills, and augments of other characters, as well as revealing more details about locations and points of interest, even from space. It's a key part of recruiting, too. Take a close look at an NPC with your spyglass, and you'll see if they have any skills worth adding to your space pirate crew. Of course, your crew isn't the only company you can bring along. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is an online game, and while you can play solo, co-op buddies can jump in or out at any time. You won't be tethered together either, and if you want to wander off and explore while another player does their own thing, you're free to do so. Welcome to Ganesha City, a dense, vertically built metropolis where the rich live at the top and the poor huddle in shanty towns built into the sides of the city's foundations. It's sprawling and richly detailed, and it's just one small corner of a moon called Soma, itself just a small piece of Beyond Good and Evil 2's gigantic open world. It's also built for aerial exploration, so in addition to your jetpack, you'll have access to a wide selection of flying vehicles. Any vehicle you see can be commandeered and driven, and they can all tune in to Radio Cheetah, a station by space pirates for space pirates. You'll also be able to fully customize your own rides, swapping out modules, wings, engines, equipment, and cosmetic options to tailor your machines to look good and hold their own in a fight. You'll need special equipment or skills to take on larger vessels, but your fighter ships are agile, able to execute barrel rolls, lock onto targets with homing missiles, and dogfight with police if you inadvertently break some city law like flying too close to a major tourist attraction or robbing a bank. And like your weapons, ships can be equipped with augments, enabling you to do things like firing healing missiles at your co-op partners. Your ships are also capable of hitting extreme speeds, covering thousands of kilometers in a matter of seconds. This is essential for getting around planets in a hurry, as well as for flying out into orbit to rendezvous with your mothership, a huge vessel that serves as your home base. Even out here in orbit, you can seamlessly transition from piloting a ship to spacewalking with a nano spacesuit to protect you from the vacuum. Popping out of the cockpit and into the cold abyss of space allows you to use your spyglass to investigate a planet, peering down at treasure-hiding geoglyphs, cities, and settlements, all of which are still buzzing with activity far below you, enabling your co-op partner to explore and interact normally with city life even when you're this far apart. Alternately, you can switch over to the Universe Map, a fully 3D rendering of System 3 that can be zoomed in and out to give you an overview of everything from close-ups of a planet's surface to the continuously orbiting layout of the entire system.
My name is Rebecca Lansing. I'm a counter-terrorism consult for Triumphion. First things first, get something to defend yourself with. You're gonna need it. Things on Citadel Station are bad, very bad. The comms are dead and there is strong evidence of a biological contamination on board. And that's not the worst part. The station's mining laser is charging for a potential strike against Earth. Nathan Darcy is the science officer on board. He'd have information on shutting the laser down. His office is on your level near the central hub. Get there immediately. See what you can find. We're in the central part of the city, so-called District 2. The city is made up of seven very different regions, and each one is a truly individual environment that introduces new parkour moves, enemies, and gameplay mechanics. Aiden! What, are you not going? Oh, there's a lot of them down there. Things will get fucked up at the castle, I guarantee it. You got a plan B? I'll improvise. What if he improvises? It'll work out. You so sure about that? Frank! Fuck! Knew it! <laughs> Weapon modding makes a comeback in Dying Light 2. We have a modded weapon. So now, let's find a good moment to use it. You're as good as dead. Taking you out. They will be free. You get after those fuckers. I'll look after him. What happened? What happened? Those fucking renegades shot him. Where were you? Hey, Aiden, hold still. Hey, hey, Aiden, catch that truck, or you would never get onto that alley. The first choice, chase the truck or stay with Frank. Just keep him alive. Stay in contact. Now run, damn it, run! Hold on, Frank. Okay, let's chase the truck and see what consequences that brings. The truck is gone. But this tall building looks like a great vantage point. We should use it. As you can see, life is booming on the rooftops. And this is something you can change by your actions and decisions. The Not yet. Matt? Can you see the truck? I'm looking us, Frank. Can't find the doctor. But don't think about that now. I'm on it. That's the Renegade's truck. I have it. 
I'll get them for this, Matt. Just keep your cool, kid. Remember. <laughs> Hello, everyone out there in the wasteland. On today's show, I want to talk to you about our world. The world you see now is a very scary place. Democracy, equality, and freedom all died when the bombs fell. And we've been walking on their ashes ever since. Especially here in Colorado. There's too many men, too many people making too many problems. The three children of our patriarch are even more ruthless than he is. We live in a society built on violence. Can't you see this is the land of confusion? But it wasn't always like this. Over a hundred years ago, everything was different. I believe we can get back there. If we fight this oppression. If we are fearless against the evils of the world. We can be everything we were in 1987. That's our show for the day. Tune in tomorrow, and we're going to talk about the dangers of cannibalism. Can't you see this is the land of... Obviously, figured I'd let you catch up. Whoa! This just got a whole lot more interesting. Let's make this quick. Where? Four, see if you can clear a path on the bridge. All right. Go, go, go! We got at least two dozen armed men out here. We need backup. Ah! 
You are not worthy. Tony, Thor, what's your status? There are mortals trapped. Lots of small, angry men with guns. Uh, I just caught a bus. Maybe I should have had a bigger breakfast this morning. Out of my way! Thor, thanks for the assist. You've got civilians trapped behind those barricades. Understood. Stay behind me. I will deal with them. This should be fun. is on the way. That thing gets hit. Already on it. Stay behind cover. All right. Which one of you B-movie extras shot at me?
We're all fighting over scraps here. I've seen it raised by fire, shaken by quakes. Whatever you do in my city, I will hear about it. Seattle is firmly under my control. You're obviously new to this whole existence, but truth is, most of you types won't even make it a whole year. So you probably figured out that you need to drink blood. You can't just do whatever you want. Cities are carved up by political factions. Never tell anyone about what you are. See, vampires are extremely territorial. Unwittingly poach in someone's territory and suddenly whip! We have one rule. You don't break the masquerade. <laughs> Welcome to the first day of the rest of your death. Having fun yet? I'm happy to see you accepted my invitation. All I need you to do is to find a thin blood by the name of Slug. He's in hiding. But the Nosferatu most likely know where he is. Once you find Slug, all you have to do is purchase some information off of him. Feel free to use whatever methods are needed to get him to comply. I assume your handlers have sent you to find our smelly friend. You can find Slug under the freeway, or in a place the locals call the jungle. He's smart enough to hide among the homeless down there, but not quite smart enough to do it well. Talk to him about coming to see us, and no one needs to know. We'll let you keep anything you've been promised from whoever sent you to me. But you'll want to watch yourself. Lots of unsavory animals in the jungle. I don't know you. That's a good start. Slug is a coward, but he survived this long on his own, so he's bound to be a handful. He's also not the only one you'll need to look out for. Just let me go. Come on. Just let me leave. 